This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. For too long, our vital national coal industry has been linked with scenes like this. But here in Scotland, a modern, carefully planned pit gives one example of Britain's new deal for the miner of today. Training is the first essential for those who enter a highly skilled job, and at the Pithead School, theory and practice combine to give a first-class mining education. These workers live in surrounding villages, and not, as in so many cases, close to the pit head. Like everything else at this Scottish pit, each man's equipment is designed for his personal safety and comfort while on the job. Going down, and very soon, 1,200 feet below, a new shift begins. Here again, with every machine used at the coal face, the three guiding factors are safety, efficiency, and economy. Electric cutters help along the preliminary work, while this great crab-like machine does an impressive job of gathering in the loose coal. Wherever explosives have to be used, special safety precautions are taken. All set, and here goes another few hundred tons. With perfect precision, the work goes on. Along the conveyor belt flows a steady stream of coal, automatically loaded up into steel trucks. One more shift comes to an end, and now for the pithead baths, where there's every facility for getting clean again before returning home. Another practical proof that nothing is too good for the men who may well be called the commandos of British industry. Planning for the future, the National Coal Board, under its chairman Lord Hindley, knows that it has the backing of the workers of the coal face, whose combined efforts will decide the whole industrial future of our land. <laughs> 